Uh, no, it's not the same aisle I remember. No. Now apologize! I do want to watch it all burn. Right. Uh-huh. I want to turn the lights on and off. Good! Go! Uh-huh. Thank you, strengths. Tell me what? We're all going back to heaven. Hey, does this mean you're not angry at your dad anymore? No, I'm not angry. But if furious. Mother would never say those things to me. Oh. And for that, I hate him all the more. Oh, what a way to send that guy off. Welcome back to another Saturday, where today we're jumping into Lucifer. This is season two, episode 17. We have one more episode to go, guys, and we are done with season two. Right after we're done with season two, we're jumping right into season three. There is no sta- no stops, no breaks. We're going to keep it going on this roller coaster. The last episode was amazing. I thought that we had God, but we didn't have a God character, but it's whatever. Um, but regardless, if that actor who played God was amazing. Um, I'm assuming because of the belt, right, that little um, thing on the belt, it made, I don't really understand how it embodied God or whatever the case of the scenario is, but it did something. That, the gist of what I got, it was like, oh, the belt. It did something. Um, <laughs> so, but now, once again, um, Lucifer has another piece to the puzzle to get to the gates of heaven. Now, at the ending of that episode, when Lucifer let that man know, he goes, the guy said, you know, it, it's gonna probably stay with me forever. Um, the guy said, do you know, you know, are you still mad at your dad? Are you, are you still mad at your dad? Are you, are you mad at your dad? Then Lucifer was like, I'm not mad. I'm furious. And then he did, I don't even know that's the word. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said, I'm furious. Because his dad, he feels, would never say what that man said to him, saying sorry and, you know, showing compassion and love. Um, regardless, Lucifer is on a mission. He's on a mission to go to the gates. And I'm thinking what's, can I tell you guys what I'm thinking what's going to happen? I'm thinking what's going to happen by the ending of the season is that they're going to finally get all the pieces to the puzzle of this sword, the flaming sword of Eden. I believe that's what it is. Um, and they're going to, this could probably end off of them being at the gates of heaven. And in season three, that's probably where we're going to start off at. That's what I'm thinking. Now, also in the last episode, we did have a little moment of Maze finding out the truth of where Lucifer and his brother and his mother are planning to go. Now, we all know that Maze is a demon now, okay? Maze can't go to heaven. She's going straight up or she's going to stay on Earth. So I'm also thinking in this episode, we're going to get a little bit of that situation with Maze confronting Lucifer because where else would we go but have that situation happen? And I'm sure she's going to be pissed, very upset that Lucifer did not let her know about all these little plans that he had. So, uh, and that is kind of messed up because like she does everything for Lucifer and like you don't even let her know what's going on. Like you didn't even let her know the tea that you plan on going to upstairs and she can't go upstairs. She can only go downstairs. She can't afford upstairs. So why the hell are you going upstairs? What a horrible roommate. Um, but <laughs> regardless, that's what's probably going to happen in this episode. And I'm hoping that we're going to have a lot of impact that's going to happen in this episode because we only have 42 minutes of this episode and then the next one is done. It's the season finale. So I'm ready to have it. Even if we don't have like a big murder uh, mystery to solve, I would love to have a lot more storyline with Lucifer, Maze, and the rest of them because honey, they have been giving us what we needed midway of this season for me and I have been enjoying the ride. Just so you guys know, this is going to be a full reaction for channel members. Also, if you guys would like to have like suggestions or to uh, talk off of YouTube, you guys could add me on Discord down below in the comment section. That's where you can find out all the goodies. Joining the channel, going at me on Discord, or even if you can see this video, um, you can add me onto social media, um, Instagram, uh, most likely because my Facebook is fully packed. So you guys can add me on to Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, and there we can have a conversation. Um, and also we can talk off of YouTube, talk about movies and TV shows that you guys also are really into that you would like to, for this channel to do reactions to. Just just add me on to one of those uh, uh, media things and we'll talk there. But you guys click this not to talk about that. You guys are here to talk about and see Lucifer. So with that being said. Not twice. And then another went through his hand, hitting him in the chest. 
probably Damn. trying to defend himself. I don't think this was a professional ah. hit. Maybe a robbery gone wrong. Gunpowder residue indicating weapons. All your basic bad guy stuff. Oh. No sign of forced entry, though. I got something here. Zeke had his phone on him, so this phone could be the killer's. That's good cool. protected, of course. The home screen is two eyes. No, that is a woman's perfectly freckled rump. So ah. our lead on the killer of butt boob eyes. It's a great start. <laughs> Ms. Ruiz there is my client. Well, she's a real piece of work. Dre me, now you're back. You have to want something. I just can't figure out what. I need something to pass the time until we get a lead. I like you. LAPD, Bianca Ruiz, you're under arrest. This is absurd. Charlotte will no longer be representing you. Step away, I need to search her. Oh, I don't think that's necessary, detective. Oh, you're being incredibly thorough. <laughs> the phone was still unlocked. We have everything. Yeah, I saw her. Give it to him. A book? That's what Zeke smuggled for me? How is a book supposed to ignite the sword? Maybe it's an read instruction it. manual. In an Ooh. ancient language, I can't read. Wonderful. You speak every language. So whatever language this uh, is... It's Samaria. Uh, I actually spent my youth studying. How quickly can you translate it? It should only take me a few days. I don't have that kind of time. Just anxious to see the rest of the family. Start translating. There's something going on with her. Or it's just that time of the millennium. Excuse me. Not this time. Is she gonna sleep with him? Hey. Oh my god. Hey. You and Charlotte Richards, that is the most awkward team up of the century. Like her mm. being this first stepmom? It makes her it kind of be like this first dad. I'm glad you agreed to meet me. Well, of course I did. Hand it over. I need what Zeke really smuggled. It's all your fault! <laughs> Listen, I think I found something. God shattered the flaming sword into three distinct pieces. Blade of death, the medallion of life. Wilson's belt buckle. Uh-huh. Key that binds them all together. I think it's on his necklace. Your ring. Mother is favorite, despite everything that you have done. Look down. It's him. The key around your neck, or are you just happy to see me? They entrusted it to you, brother. Ooh, Ooh what a bad Oh, well, uh, the ending of that episode was really, really good. I did enjoy the ending a lot. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This was a really good episode. I would give it like an 8.5 to a 9 in my aspect of doing it. I think the last episode, it gave me a lot more to like be like, oh my God. Like it was just, I don't know, maybe because of all the combinations and my joy of thinking that that was God and like all of them being under like one like episode i was really really enjoying it my favorite part of this episode though had to be maze confronting lucifer and that big fight um i really love linda I believe that's her name the psychiatrist just even just a few brief uh minutes of her being on screen really does something to the episode the mother i was very very happy that the mother was a lot a lot more in this episode than she has been in previous episodes. She really, really brings um, a, a different aspect of this show and she's a great, great character. Lucifer and his brother Amenadiel. I believe that's how you say it. I think I said it correctly. I'm pretty sure I was correct. When I, as soon as, if you look at the, probably, I've been acting my whole entire life. I've been acting since a little kid. Um, so I kind of know what to look for when I'm watching a TV show, movie, whatever it is. I always can see what the director is trying to show. Now, for, I don't know if maybe other people as well probably noticed it if they aren't into the acting world, but because the, the panning of the camera and the glimpse of the 2.5 seconds of them showing just the necklace being so predominantly like noticeable in that one little frame, I was like, it had to be his necklace. Plus, they gave drop little hints in previous episodes about that necklace. So I think he talked about it in one of the episodes. Um, so it was very, 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 very clear to me that it had something to do with that necklace. But then when they slowly started to pivot um, and think about Lucifer's ring, I was like, oh, was I wrong? But then right back, 
obviously it was the necklace. The killing of the situation, uh, like I said, we didn't really even, I hope, you know what I kind of hope for? I kind of hope for the last episode, we don't even need to solve a murder. Because in this episode, how I personally feel, I feel like we didn't even need to, well, I guess we, I don't know. Well, I guess we kind of needed a murder to kind of bring up the last piece of the sword. But like the murder part wasn't even, maybe that's why the, the murderers, like we didn't have to really guess. Like they kind of just let us know, these are the people that did it. <clears throat> and like, this is what we're gonna do. Besides that, we really didn't need uh, murderers in this. Uh, but I did like the mother who was Chet's mother. She was a really good character. Now, I did not know that the lady uh, mother, the goddess of light, that's what I'm gonna call her. I didn't know that her light actually could just like do what she did to Chet. But if that's the case in scenario, we got a big problem on our hands. So we have one more episode to go, guys. It will drop this a week so definitely look out for it i'm really 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 excited to see what's going to happen and i promise you i promise you we're going to be pushing out a lot more lucifer content in season three have no fear andres el rey is here with that being said guys if you've seen this reaction realize that you are not subscribed hit the subscribe button so please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel and i'll see you all next time on andres el rey